Let's break down the political fallout now with our chief political analyst, Matthew Dowd, Megan McCain from The View. And Megan, let me begin uh, with you right now. Right now, the bill is pretty unpopular, but Republicans calculated they just could not afford to go home without a big win this year. Yeah, this is a, legisl a big legislative win, the most significant one for the Trump administration thus far, and this is something to take home to your constituents. I came on the show saying, I think this is going to be a hard pass. I don't see how he can do this, especially after the failure of the Obamacare repeal and replacement, but we do have something to run on, and I think Democrats are going to turn this into an impeachment election, and now going home we can say, look, we actually ended up passing something. Democrats, though, Matt Dowd, also say they want to run on this tax bill as well saying it's going to be a giveaway to the wealthy. Many in the middle class are going to get a tax increase. Well, yeah, when you look at this tax bill, 70% 70 70 of the benefits of this tax bill go to the very wealthy, the top 1% or 2% of the country. It's like an alternative version of Dickens' A Christmas Carol where Scrooge doesn't listen to Jacob Marley and doesn't listen to the three ghosts of Christmas past and goes ahead and proceeds on his way. To me, this, is a po this may be a legislative victory, but it's not a political victory. It's an unpopular bill, most unpopular tax bill ever passed, pushed by an unpopular president, passed by an unpopular Congress. It is a great benefit for the Democrats to run on this in 2018. Meantime, Matt, we're seeing the president out tweeting this morning his most explicit endorsement yet for Roy Moore, that Alabama Senate candidate who's up for election next Tuesday. This is an amazing situation, George, where one, you had the, the the Mitch McConnell this weekend basically said it's up to Alabama after he said he shouldn't serve. Now the president, a full-on endorsement of a man accused of being a child predator in the state of Alabama. This is a situation where the Republicans may win this seat. It's still very competitive, but they may win this seat, but they will lose the war in the long run because in the party and in the country today, this is going to brand them as, as a party that's not in the benefit of women in this country. Yeah, Megan, when I was talking to Mitch McConnell yesterday on this week, he, he backed away saying it's up to the voters of Alabama to decide and would not commit uh, to ordering an investigation of the Ethics Committee, this could be a long-term problem. Oh, this is going, no matter win or lose, and I believe that Roy Moore is going to win, it's going to be a lose-lose situation for Republicans. What fascinates me is all the polling that's coming out showing that a large majority of Alabama Republican voters don't believe the media's take on Roy Moore, which I think goes to show just about the, you know, complete and total lack of trust of the media and the coverage of this. And I've been trying to explain it, that it's not even about Roy Moore anymore. It's about people judging Alabamans. And I think going forward, I have personal friends living in Birmingham, talked to over the weekend, who are really struggling with this, saying, I've never not voted in this election, what am I supposed women? to do? The woman, my friend does, but still can't somehow bring herself to vote for someone who's pro-choice. Okay, Megan McCain, Matthew Dowd, thanks very much.